Welcome to EB Hood Channel. Um, it's been a while since I've been out to, to making a video. I've been busy typing the third book, about three quarters away the rough draft. Um, the audio version is coming out soon. Um, which, well, I don't say soon. It's just it's in works. It's like writing another book. I'm hoping to have it out roughly about the same time as the third book. Uh, I'll be releasing that maybe a little bit before, a little bit after. Kind of hoping before, but it is what it is. Um, we are just uh, busy away here. <laughs> I'm actually going to do a review. This long overdue. I did a review a while back, and I did it, and it came out poorly, and I deleted it, and I never got back around to doing it again. So hopefully, it doesn't come out poorly. We're doing Crownless Tales of the Banished by Katie Oppenheimer. Um, this is a really good book. I'm also uh, Changing my format of reviews. Um, a lot of the reviews are like I kind of start a five star, four star, three star. I, I, none of that makes sense because I mean, if it's a four star book, then why is it four star? Well, maybe it's just my taste. Or, I mean, do you really do one star? I mean, that's just me. I mean, if it's one star, you throw it out your window, you keep driving. I mean, nobody, you know, unless it's on your Kindle, and you, you just don't finish it. I mean, you don't. Get, I mean, one star, but you just hate everything about it. Doesn't mean that there won't be somebody who loves it. I probably wouldn't do a review if I just liked the book that much because I wouldn't have enough positive things to say. But I'm doing a review of this book. This book, we're going to do our reviews in six different, like, overall views. And we start with uh, the first thing about this book, location, time, place. This is um, my favorite in fantasy is urban fantasy where it's kind of like in the background of reality. And, but it's followed by... Um, post-apocalyptic uh, books and my another favorite of mine fantasy worlds I'm a big fan of Lord of the Ring and um, uh, Game of Thrones it's going right now huge fan huge fan so I like worlds this is what Katie does she does a whole new world um, I like new worlds and her world's really good it's kind of standard and I have an oh introduction my guest reviewer Hello, guest reviewer. You're looking at the wrong screen. If you want to see the camera, the camera's over there. Uh -huh. Say hi. She's a guest reviewer. She's going to tell you what she thought of the book. What did you think of the book? Uh, it was really cool. It was really cool. And uh, vampires fly. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on. There's no vampires in this book. Yes, there is. Not the one I'm reviewing. I'm talking about this book. Crownless. Well, Have you read Crownless? Yes. Yeah. What? Why are you here? Because I was going to help you report about Melibeth. Well, this isn't about Melibeth. Uh, this is about Crownless. Uh, Alright, just look here. Alright, we're going to start off with location. Um, She does a really interesting world. It's beautiful. It sounds very descriptive, very well done. Um, jungle worlds. Um. Now this is the first book in the series, and she's. I've talked to the author, and I and I know this. And when I when and, and, and I'm always careful about this with especially first books in series because the first book is an introduction. Like my first book, it's an introduction to characters, places, persons, things, and so therefore, don't take this in criticism, but it really does just give you a sliver of this world. Unlike um, Tolkien, who spends the first book burying you about his world, and you really get a, a sense of a very large world. This one is more of a sense of a small world. I So I would have liked to see a little bit more about the world, but it's okay. It was really good. And it's definitely not criticism. It's the first book, and she's going her, And she also takes this answer an interesting approach in the fact this is a standalone story and the next book will be another standalone story but within the same world so with that in mind there's I think this world is going to grow and, and become much larger so I think that's why she wanted to keep it smaller to begin with now, shh, I'm in the middle of the review you're supposed to be quiet or adding something positive <laughs> The next thing that we're going to talk about is what kind of things are in this book. Well, it's full of magic. Magic creatures like fairies. It has fairies. It has a magic cat um, that travels with our heroine. It, it's very creative. If you like magical creatures, there is no vampires. Shucks. 
there's no werewolves or anything like that, but it does have a lot of magical creatures. It's um, I'm not going to give away all the magic creatures, but it's along that realm. Um, the characters of the book. It really centers around basically two characters. There's a, there's a lot of um, characters that come in and out of the book throughout, of course, but primarily two characters, and that's um, the, the princess and um, this cat she's with, which is an intelligent cat. And um, she's magical and guards her in, in her predicament, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, I like the characters in the book. Um, the cat, I think, what, well, well, I've talked to authors, and like a lot of people say they were favorite. The only thing I, I thought the cat should be a little bit more vicious. That should bite people more or something. I don't know. I was, I was hoping for. I thought the cat was too motherly and too, a little too nice, maybe. But that was my opinion. But I liked her. I liked all the new characters. What do you think of the cat? There's a tail thing on the back. There's a tail on the cat. Okay. Well, and then we have the plot. Dun 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 dun. The next section of it. Yes, honey, it's a very nice picture. The um, the uh, the plot of the book. Well, I don't want to give it away, but it's basically the princess gets uh, banished. All well, tales of the banished. She's banished from her kingdom, and suitors come to rescue her. And they have to pass a series of tests. Well, the book kind of really sways away from that story. You think it's going one place, and it kind of just goes somewhere else entirely. She ends up kind of just going through the whole book and releasing and saving these people, and the princess kind of ends up doing her own thing. It, it, it really doesn't hold the romance, so if you're really wanting a romance book, this is not it. Um, but it's a very good story, and it's a good page turner. Um, the Construction of the book and the overall arc is um, rather even. I, I kind of would have liked a bigger action scene, a little bit more, I don't know, a, a little bit more on the edge. But in a way, I would call this book a little girly. That's not a bad thing. And I think, but, but, and, and see, this is, this is me reading. I still really much enjoyed it, but I would have liked a little bit more. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> but, you know, that's me. Um, if you ever read my book, you would know that I like Dun, 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 dun. Anyways, then we have uh, the last spot of this is overall view in the book. And the overall view of this book is it's a fun read. It's P, it's it's PG no, for anyone. She could read it. You're, you know, I always like to give a rating what I think. It's uh, very clean. Uh, a very enjoyable. So if you want a magic adventure and a new Seven. world with fairies and Seven. tigers and, and magical creatures and, and no dun 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 <laughs> and people <laughs> jumping out at you, this is your book. Check it out. Katie Appenheimer. You find her on Amazon.com. Buy her book. Give her five stars. Even though stars don't matter. Give them to her anyhow. What, and what, what, do you, what do you think? Should they buy her book? And if, and, if, and if they don't buy your book, will you cry? No, no, you, you, you say, yes, I'll cry. Go, I'll cry if they don't buy the book. Go, big, big undertone. Go, give her a big sad face. <laughs> Come on, big lip. Go buy the book. <laughs> You're not Go buy the book. There it is. If you don't buy the book, she'll never smile again. <laughs> will you give me time to make it? We gave you time to make. Okay, we made it. All right, ta-ta for now. This is E.B. Hood. Until next time.